You know, that's yeah. not it's like Groundhog's you know, Day like is a career. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. I can't think of the song. Uh, nah, nah. Yeah. I get labeled because everything I, I put everything into an image, a metaphor, or an analogy. That's that's how I communicate, is is putting it that way. So that's Groundhog Day every year. And what can happen is if I'm part of their world then they trust me when I tell them what to do with their, with their business. If I'm just like, Hey, I'm 30 minutes of your day twice a week or, you know, uh, twice a month. And I tell you, you need to be prospecting more or whatever. They're like, yeah, well, okay, fine. But when I can say, Hey, I see you had a sale this week and you, you know, got a, I got a kitten and you know, your kid won the game. Congratulations. I'm a part of their world. Yeah. And yep. I think having that bond with the coaching client, just like you're talking about the realtor having the bond with the seer, it applies also to us as coaches sure. to be to be that caring and to be that servant heart, as, as I think Don said, uh, to be engaged with them, not just, hi, I'm your coach. I'm going to listen to what you say. I'm going to ask you some probing questions. I'm going to close down and go. So, Bob, how does that play out if you're not consistent in being that way with people? People wonder what's wrong. Right. Why is it the wrong message? No, no. That's when you're. hmm? No, if I'm not consistent with it, they want to. Yeah, like if you wish me a birthday one year and then you don't the next. You know, or if you you uh, you you contact me for some one one personal reason, I don't hear from you for six months. No, that's that's just being phony. It it can be, yeah. 